Warning. This video contains season 6 spoilers and an overabundance of pony cuteness. If you don't want to be spoiled or die of a cute attack, then don't watch this video. You have been warned. Pony. I am Heartsy Archie and today I'm going to tackle a rather interesting topic that's been on everybody's mind for quite a long time. Can alicorns be born? Well, I'm here to tell you with absolutely astounding proof that yes, alicorns can indeed be born. Welcome Princess Flurryheart, you adorable little pony you. So what does all of this mean? Why am I so excited about giant wings over here? Baby Flurryheart is absolutely heart-wrenchingly cute, but she already has three extremely interesting features. Her giant horn, giant wings, and normal looking eyes. Even though Flurryheart is a baby, she looks like she'll grow up rather quickly. And here's my reasoning for that. Look at Pound Cake and Pumpkin Cake, the only other babies that we've actively seen in the show. They've been around for about three seasons and they still have their simple googly eyes that even Applejack had as a baby. Seems a bit out of place, right? We still don't know how Alicorns age yet, but we will finally get to see it happening in the show. Since Flurry's features are so large, it's my guess that baby Alicorns grow up more quickly than normal ponies, at least look-wise. I'm gonna use an example from Twilight. No, no, not the pony. The vampires. Yes, I've read and watched the movies. I know, I know. Feel free to punch me in the face. In the Twilight franchise, when a human and a vampire have a baby, it creates a sort of hybrid that ages at a much faster speed than normal humans. After they reach a certain age, they appear to be that age forever. Hmm, I wonder where we've seen this before, <laughs> Celestia and Luna. But seriously, Tia and Luna have looked exactly the same for well over a thousand years. Whereas both Cadence and Twilight have gone through noticeable physical changes even after turning into princesses. So what's that got to do with alicorns being born, you might ask? We know for a fact that both Twilight and Cadence were made into alicorns. They weren't born as them. But we don't know about Celestia and Luna's origins. Were they made that way? Or were they born that way? A debate that's been tossed up into the air and the answer is still unknown five seasons later. Now that we have solid proof that ponies can be born alicorns, this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for these two. If Celestia and Luna were born alicorns, then who are their parents? What kind of kingdom were they born in? Where did this kingdom come from? And more importantly, what happened to it and where did it go? Imagine finding out the answers to these questions during season 6. There's just so much potential. All thanks to this bug-eyed butterbean. I just really hope that this potential isn't wasted. Celestia episode, am I right? Hint hint, wink wink, nudge nudge, eh? <laughs> so what are your thoughts about all of this? Are you excited to see how baby alicorns are handled in the show? What about Celestia and Luna possibly being born alicorns? Do you think the aging process is sped up and then halted? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But before I go, I'd like to thank Bright Idea for mentioning me in her most recent Brony song. It was definitely a pleasant surprise that just made my day. I highly recommend checking out this video as well as other content on Bright Idea's channel. You won't be disappointed. The link will be in the description below. As always, I'm open to any theories, collabs, and suggestions that you guys might have. I am HeartCRT and thanks for watching!